hey this is Paolo from the DMB Academy and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Diplodocus by Noisia. Like this. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos, and make sure you get subscribed to the DMB Academy free access to have all of our master classes, free presets, and samples in your DMB Academy account. Also, if you're very serious about production, consider visiting dmbacademy.com and grabbing one of our producer bundles. We have a great selection of pro artists teaching you how to make a full track from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, and bonuses included. And speaking about presets and project files, if you want to access the one from this video, you should join Preset Pass, the link is in the description below. So with all of that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch. I'm just playing a low D sharp. And the first thing we're going to do is to set up our MIDI. So for this, we're going to automate this pitchman wheel right here, like this. So it has that. Da -da 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 -da. And we're going to be repeating this four times, but in the last time, instead of just going, we're going to go from low to the midpoint to low. So it has that. Da -da 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 -da. Just like that. All right, so now let's jump into Serum. So here in Serum, we're going to load sine waves on every oscillator, except for the noise, of course. So now it should sound something like this. Nothing really special, just a big sub. But now we're going to pitch oscillator B three octaves up. And we're going to boost it three semitones. Just like that. And then we're going to bring the level of B all the way down because we're going to run FM from B on oscillator A. So let's boost this FM. Doesn't sound too exciting, but we're going to map an LFO into the level of this oscillator. We're going to set it on trigger, remove the envelope, and then let's create a plucky shape like this. All right, then we're going to automate this rate so for that let's just bring this down and then let's make a macro into the rate knob so now if we move this macro we have that so again if we go to our midi so we can sustain this macro right here then we can automate it like this Sustain it again, and then automate it like this. Very cool, huh? So now going back into Serum, we need to map Elephant number one also into the sub. And now let's go into the Effects tab, and we're going to add Hyper. Let's bring this down. Then we're going to add two distortion. We're going to add a lot around that. Cool. Then we're going to add an EQ. We're going to use a bell to bring down some specific frequencies at around 300 hertz. Like that. And now that we have all of this distortion going on, we can go back into the oscillator tab and set up a phaser filter. We can load phaser 48 plus. and just fine tune it. There you go. We can always fine tune the mix of the oscillators. And let's bring the random phase all the way down so we have a consistent sound every time we hit the notes. Okay, awesome. Now let's go back into the effects tab. Let's add one more phaser right here. Let's boost the rate. <laughs> Pretty funny effect. Let's bring the depth down. 
Then let's bring the frequency down. And now we can fine tune this, let's say right there. And let's bring the mix down. There you go. Let's turn on the chorus and then let's boost the mix. Let's bring this low pass filter a bit lower. There you go. Now let's turn on a multiband compressor, set it on multiband, boost the gain and boost the release. Cool. Then let's add a PP filter, meaning double peaks, like this. So we have a peak on this cutoff and then on this frequency knob. Let's boost 30 hertz. Boost the resonance. Which is boosting the sub essentially. And then let's boost the drive all the way up. Yeah. Let's bring the mix down. And now with this, we have a stronger fundamental and more harmonics in the low end because we're running kind of a parallel distortion type of layer with this bass. Great. So now let's jump into post-processing. So for post-processing, the first thing we're going to do is to add a trash 2. Now on this trash 2, we're going to set it up on multiband. We're going to have three bands and the first band is going to go from 20 to 75 hertz. The second one, 76 to 354. And then the third one, what's left. In the first band, we're going to leave it unaffected. In the second one, we're going to just boost the wave shaper. And on the third one, we're going to once again leave it unaffected. So if we listen to this before and after, we will notice that this sound has much more power in the low mids, and that is because those frequencies are being saturated by this trash 2. Great. So next, we have one more trash 2 right here. And this trash 2. It's again split into three bands. These are the frequencies of every crossover. Sub is being unaffected. The mids are being affected by this distortion called Nasher under the first category, which is distortion, 0.4 drive. And then the highs, which just have the wave shaper boosted a little bit. So before and after, it just adds a little bit more of this frequency range right here. Next, we have an EQ boosting the sub and the low mids. And then we have one more phaser. Just adding a different format into the sound. And then we have some reverb. Just to put the sound in a space. So let's bring this down a little bit. And then if we play this with the other sounds. That's what we have. Now, in order to turn this sound into something more of your own, because you don't want to copy same sound, you want to change it. Of course, you can change the MIDI, the sequence, basically. Have different rhythms, have different riffs, but you can also change the sound in its tonality. If, for example, you change the FM amount or the harmonics that you're using for the frequency modulation. And change the phaser with that. There you go. Now let's change the rate a little bit. There you go. Even if we leave it on the same riff, we can feel that it's a different variation of the same sound. And again, you just have to reinvent the riff and have different patterns of this type of bass. And again, you can play with the different harmonics and the cutoff of the filter. Or you can completely change the wavetables like this. And make it a long sustained bass like this. And then maybe add a variation on the wavetables like this. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of different variations that you can do with this bass.
so that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video if you liked it make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos and if you want to get access to preset and the project files you can become a member of preset pass the link is in the description below so thank you so much for watching hope you have a nice day and i'll see you in the next video bye bye